Hey guys, Jackdaw here. Today we have ourselves another news update for Dragon Age 4's narrative inspiration. We have another piece of literature that Bioware are using as an influence for the creation of Dragon Age 4's story. Previously, we discovered that Dragon Age 4's current working plot title is To Vince of Our Discontent, which is derived from Shakespeare's play Richard III. This plot reference brings plenty of ideas to the table for the following narrative of Dragon Age for. So much in fact that I've already got a separate video on this huge news bomb. However, to date seems we have another plot reference for Dragon Age 4's story thanks to Mark Dara. This new plot reference relates Dragon Age 4 to the fourth book in the Old Testament of the Bible, the Book of Numbers. So without further ado, let's uncover what's going on here. As always, in a tweet on Twitter, Mark Dara was talking about Dragon Age 2's original title being Dragon Age Exodus and how in hindsight he actually preferred that name because it would have contextualised the game better. Mark shows off the initial logo for Dragon Age 2 with its alternate Exodus title. When Patrick Weeks replies saying, I mean I'm okay with that not having happened because trying to explain that we're working on Dragon Age numbers would be confusing. And then Mark Dara replies with the T saying this, Numbers is the fourth one but if Genesis is Origins, Exodus is Exodus, Leviticus is Inquisition, Numbers is dot dot dot. So for those of you who are unaware, Mark Dara is comparing each of the books of the Old Testament to a Dragon Age game. Genesis is like Origins, Exodus is like Dragon Age 2, Leviticus is like Inquisition, and Numbers is like Dragon Age 4. Now it's worth noting that the Torah, which is the Jewish holy book, has a total of five books. Just like how Dragon Age was originally planned as a saga, this correlation could actually mean something. And so with that, what exactly is the Book of Numbers about and can we actually relate this to Dragon Age 4? Well, as a quick run through of the Book of Numbers, because this isn't Sunday school and I am nobody's pastor, the book starts following Moses leading the people of Israel on their way to the Promised Land. However, the Israelites quickly start to complain, murmur and disobey Moses' leadership. For these acts, God destroys approximately 15,000 of them through various means. The Israelites arrive at the borders of Canaan and send spies into the land. Upon hearing the spies' fearful report concerning the conditions of Canaan, the Israelites refused to take possession of the land, even though it was given to them by God. So because of that rejection, God condemns them to death in the wilderness until a new generation can grow up and carry out the task. The book ends with a new generation of Israelites in the plain of Moab ready for the crossing of the Jordan River. So the purpose of this book is to demonstrate God's covenant plan stays on track even even when his people don't, and that he will always get someone to do the deed. The idea that sinful people are blessed not because of what they did or did not do, they are blessed because they are God's people and he made a promise to them that he is going to keep, and rightly so, he did, because the later generations of the Israelites then gained entry into the promised land. And so the key themes of this book are rebellion, punishment, and forgiveness. So how can we relate this biblical literature to Dragon Age 4? The big trick about this text in our own hypothetical predictions based on the book of Numbers is that Solas is the god leading his own people. He's seeking the destruction of Thedas to redeem his own world, his promised land, the world of the elves. So he's taking the elves, his own bestowed people, with him on this mission of annihilation that will usher in a new age for his kind. And many will join him in finding faith in his plans to redeem the elven time. And many will oppose him having lost faith and turning away. Either way, it doesn't matter to Solas because he's made a promise that he is going to keep and he will follow his plan through until the very end when he has reached his promised land. I feel that there are quite a few comparisons we can pick out and relate to the next Dragon Age game. The journey of Solas and his people carrying out this mission to restore their world is a huge tease within this literature and no matter what will stand in their way, Solas will not stop easily. I think a key plot point that it boils down to is the notion that, like God, Solas will gain a newer generation for the newer world. The old generation, like the Dalish elves, know Fenharel as a monstrous god. If a newer generation was not taught this, then they could thrive in a world with Solas. Maybe even believe that he is a god. Which of course means that perhaps this Fenharel may succeed in his attempts at destroying the Vale. In any regard, that's just my perspective on comparing the Book of Numbers to Solas's scheme. In other news, following this conversation on Twitter with 
Mark Dara and Patrick Weeks. Their conversation started to spiral as Patrick started talking about showing off his feet at E3 2020, and then this made a few fans speculate at a potential Dragon Age 4 reveal. To cast the idea that Weeks was teasing any sort of reveal, he tweeted the following, Dear everyone, these tweets were me joking with Mark Dara and were not intended to tease any kind of E3 announcement. My feet are kind of gross and pictures of them will in no way be tied to Dragon Age promotional content unless marketing asks, which is unlikely. So this is not Weeks directly saying that we won't see anything Dragon Age related this E3, he just doesn't want the fans thinking that by him talking about showing off his feet at an E3 showcase that this could somehow relate to a Dragon Age 4 reveal. But hey, you know, PC Gamer, the internet, Reddit and such, things can quickly go south and get quite misguided. But alas, this does not relate or denounce any idea that Dragon Age 4 may get an E3 announcement. Patrick is just claiming that from his conversation, he hasn't announced anything. So when June does come around, it'll certainly be interesting to see if we do actually get some more of a reveal of Dragon Age 4. To preface, Dragon Age 4 should be coming out at the bare minimum of April 2022, proceeding into 2023. Bioware generally do start to market their games two years before, so it would make sense to see another trailer this year, but does that mean EA Play or E3 2020? We're not quite sure. Regardless, that'll do it from me. Let me know what you guys think about Dragon Age 4's Book of Numbers inspiration. Do you have any hot takes on this? Anything that I didn't think of when examining the book? Do let me know any ideas you have for Dragon Age 4's plot relating to this Book of Numbers, and also do you think that we will see some kind of E3 announcement or a reveal later down the year for Dragon Age 4? Are you expecting some kind of trailer this year? But for all your things Bioware, Dragon Age, Mass Effect news related, of course you're already in the right place for all that sweet content. I have been Jackdaw, be sure to check out my blog, my Patreon, links in the description down below. But until the next one, I should go. Whoa, whoa, whoa.